Welcome to the world of fermentation technology. Friends, this discussion is regarding the development of inoculant for bacterial processes. This talk is a part of NMBICD project entitled Creation of E-Contents on Fermentation Technology. Sponsored by the MHRD Government of India. Let us start with introduction of this topic. The main objective of inoculum development for traditional bacterial fermentations is to decrease lag phase. A long lag phase is not only wastage of time but also medium is consumed in maintaining the viable culture prior to growth. The length of the lag phase is affected by the size of the inoculum and its physiological condition. Bacterial inoculum should be transferred when the cells are still metabolically active. The age of the inoculum is particularly important in the growth of sporulating bacteria. Sporulation is induced at the end of the logarithmic phase. The use of an inoculum containing a high percentage of spores would result in a long lag phase in a successive fermentation. 5% inoculum of thermophilic bacillus in logarithm phase is used for the commercial production of proteases. The two-stage the inoculum development program is used for the production of proteases by bacillus subtilized. The inoculum for a seed fermenter was grown for one to two days on a solid or liquid medium and then transferred to a seed vessel where the organisms were allowed to grow for a further ten generations before transfer to the production stage. The production of bacterial enzymes, the lag phase, in plant fermenters could be almost completely eliminated by using an inoculum medium of the same composition as used in the production fermenter, and employing large inoculum of actively growing seed cultures. The inoculum development program for a pilot plant scale process for the production of vitamin B12 from Pseudomonas denitrificans is shown below. Spelly et al. 1989. Stock culture is lyophilized with scheme milk. From the lyophilized culture, stock culture is prepared. Stock culture is maintained on agar slope incubated for days at 20 degree. Preparation of seed culture, which is the first stage of inoculum preparation, is as follows to cubic decimeter flask, containing 0.6 cubic decimeter medium, inoculated with culture from stock, incubated with shaking, for 48 hours, at 28 degree Celsius. At the second stage, against seed culture, is prepared from seed culture, of first stage in which, 40 to 80 cubic decimeter fermenter, containing 25 to 50 cubic decimeter medium, is inoculated with 1 to 1.2 percent culture from first stage. It is incubated, for 25 to 30 hours, at 32 degrees Celsius. Production culture. Production culture is prepared from second seed culture. 500 cubic decimeter fermenter, with 300 cubic decimeter medium, inoculated with 5%, second stage seed culture. It is incubated at 32 degrees Celsius, for 140 to 160 hours. The acetic acid bacteria used in the vinegar process, are extremely sensitive to oxygen starvation, therefore, it is essential to use an inoculum, in an active physiological state. The cells at the end of fermentation are used as inoculum for the next batch by removing approximately 60% of the culture and restoring the original level with fresh medium. In this process, there are enough chances of strain degeneration and contaminant accumulation. However, strain stability is a major concern in inoculum development for fermentations employing recombinant bacteria. Plasmid stability and productivity in E. coli biotin fermentation was improved if stationary, rather than exponential phase cells, were used as inoculum due to loss of plasmid in fermentation. In the lactic acid fermentation, the organism may be inhibited by lactic acid. Thus, production of lactic acid in the seed fermentation may result in generation of poor quality inoculum. High quality inoculum of Lactococcus lactase on a laboratory scale is obtained using electrodialysis, which reduce the lactate in the inoculum and reduce the length of the lag phase 
in the production fermentation. Development of the inoculant for anaerobic bacterial processes. Clostridial acetone butanol fermentation is anaerobic process. However, the process was outcompete by the petrochemical industry, but there is still considerable interest in re-establishing the fermentation. The stock culture is heat shocked to stimulate spore germination and to eliminate the weaker spores. The production stage is inoculated with a very low volume. The use of such small inocular necessitates the achievement of as near perfect conditions as possible to prevent contamination and to avoid an abnormally long lag phase. The inoculum development program, described by McNeil and Christians in 1986 given as below. Heat shocked spore suspension, inoculated into 150 cubic centimeter of potato glucose medium. In stage 1, above culture is used as inoculum for 500 cubic centimeter molasses medium. In stage 2, culture from stage 1, is used as inoculum for 9 cubic decimeter molasses medium. In stage 3, culture from stage 2, is used as inoculum for 90,000 cubic decimeter molasses medium.